Oh, it's another day of boat building, and we wanted to document everything that we got done this week. It's been a process of epoxy, sanding, epoxy, sanding, priming, sanding, priming, sanding, and then painting, uh, all to get to this one place that is the boat flip for the day. And so I'm going to give you the, the lowdown and the process for each of those uh, steps that we took on this video, and I hope you enjoy what you see. Well, we've roughed it up really good after the first coat dried, just a little bit by hand, so that the second coat of epoxy sticks. So the next step, of course, is to apply the second coat of epoxy. I just got done putting on the second coat of epoxy. And I also picked up the paint I'm going to use for the bottom. And that is going to be an exterior latex semi-gloss and a primer, which should go right onto this epoxy. So those are the next steps. And uh, it looks like it's sealed up great even through the first time. So I'm not worried about it even springing a leak at this point. Well, it's the evening before the flip, and I'm pretty excited. I uh, still have quite a bit of work to do, and it's now uh, going on 8.30. Um, let me give you a shot of the boat here and show you uh, what we got. As you can see, got a primer on. Two coats of uh, two-part marine-grade epoxy. And then I went through and really took the time to fill all the little, little cracks and things like that with a, uh, a bit of the uh, epoxy and, and some uh, uh, wheat together. And I sanded it on down to a 40 grit uh, just to, to get it nice and roughed up. And then I re-sanded it and you're now looking at 100 grit. And I'm going to keep it at 100 grit. I want a little bit of texture on the bottom. I know it might add a little drag, but uh, I'm not worried about speed on this boat. Um, we put a big enough motor on it, she's gonna fly. Um, so with this one, I wanna just make sure that it's uh, aesthetically uh, good looking. And so far, I think we've done a great job there. Well, we've got her painted already with the first coat that light is really bad on there but it's uh, kind of showing how flat it is and stuff like that it's a pretty pretty good looking paint kind of a greenish gray look to it there um, I don't know if I can get a good look at it there you can see it's probably gonna take a second coat but that's okay Today's boat flipping day, so we got to get her done, and uh, hopefully, this stuff dries quick enough that I can get a second coat on. <laughs> Whoops, I did something. Do we just set it down when we get? Yeah, all right. All right. So we're gonna flip it up. DJ, you go up. I got two. Okay. We were flipping a boat. Liam, get out of the yard or the street. Maggie, you're doing great. <laughs> Keep it up. Maggie's got it. <laughs> Just kidding. Bad things on the video. Good. You know, Holly, you tried, and that's what matters. I think so. Okay. Am I in? Yep, we're good. 
Down we go, baby. <laughs> I was just thinking that. <laughs> Good job, guys. That is how you flip a boat. Teamwork. Well, I do hope with, that you liked what you saw today. The inside of the boat uh, looks really, really good, and I'm very happy with it. And i um, hoping in the next uh, episode here that we can get some of the small little issues shored up and get ready to really put the gunnels on and and get some of the details taken care of that, that uh, need to be shored up before we move on to, to finish paint and making it uh, as seaworthy as possible.